guys, it is T-Rom again, bringing you second tutorial of the day <laughs> on Hanging on the today. But on this one, I'm going to be showing you how to do a gun masking transition in After Effects. So, you might have seen it before, it maybe kind of like sketches the outline of a gun, and switched to another clip, or you see a gun outline, something like that. This is going to show you how to do that. So, I'm going to start off with two clips. I'm going to use the same gun, both the intervention. You can see, both gun intervention on them. And I've got a normal 1287 20, 59 frames per second. And we're going to want to find a place where the clips have the intervention in pretty much the same spot. So let's just find a trick shot here, so it might be kind of tough. But let's see, I might need to go with this one first. Let's see. Let's try all the way at the back. I will look back there. And then let's turn that off for a second. We'll go to this one, see if it's reloading anywhere. See if that's usable. Really, guy, yeah, I mean, this is the only two clips I could find that I had. There we go, that's reloading right about there. So let's see how close they are. Let's just make all shift D to mark it, and we'll go back to the end of this one. Let's try control shift D there. So now I'll try matching those two up. See if they look about the same. Let's make sure the frames are let's just the back one. There we go. Let's see, we got that there. Those look pretty much identical. So that looks good. Let's see, we'll start off. We'll just delete the parts we don't need. Delete those two layers. So we're going to start with this clip right here. And then, to make it easy, we'll just go to the very last frame of this clip. Control Shift D is put the layer. And we'll do layer, time, Freeze frame. So what that'll do is allow you to stretch the frame however long you want. So we'll just stretch it for say, I don't know, whatever that is, to uh, about there. And we'll move this clip to the other end of that one. And let's see, we'll throw that right here. It's there. And this is the hardest part of it, masking up the gun. So we're gonna want to get your mask tool. Uh, select the layer you want, which is the freeze frame layer. I'm going to go in, it's like 200%. So we can get an accurate <coughs> mask. So there we go, I'm just going to use an H to move the hand around. I'm just going to go ahead and mask this out. So I'll speed up for you guys because it's never fun to watch all the masking.
Oh, guys, that looks good. There we go. And we'll just deselect this layer. And there you can see I've got that mask out. And that mask looks pretty good. There we go. We can mask one more thing out. We'll mask up. You can see in between there, there's a little bit of clip left. So just mask that out as well. Zoom back in 100%. Go ahead do that. There we go. Good. And for that, uh, we'll just do subtract so that it gets rid of that part. So, that's a pretty good looking mask. I mean, you can see where the you know, any kill cam thing was, but that's not too big a deal. So, and then if you want to make it a little bit better, we can just do effect key. Oh, I'll do that. Simple choker. I'll just spread the edges out a little bit. And you can either spread it out a little bit and color key it out, or you can just smooth it in a little bit. So let's just do negative two, see how that one eight. Let's try two. That uh, looks pretty good. Took away a little bit of the edge crap. And there we go. So you got that masked out. That's the majority of the work for this. So then you can just come ahead and bring this clip up behind it. And then we'll freeze the first frame of this as well to match it up. There we go. And then we'll do this layer, layer, time, freeze frame. And we'll subtract that. There we go. I'll stretch that out somewhat. Bring that down to the end. There we go. And you can see. And see if anything matches up better. Nah, that's pretty much the best one to get it to match up, I think. Let's see. Yeah, it's gonna really get it. So we'll just undo that work. <coughs> and we'll just bring this over here. You can see that this is kinda rough. But, then we can do some cool effects like this. We'll start off, we'll go to the top layer, we'll select it, we'll do effect, generate, stroke, and then we can do reveal original image if you'd like. And just do all masks. So 
Sorry, this seems kind of weird. I'm trying to do this on the fly, figure out what I want it to look like. But, um, basically, what I'm trying to get is where it erases and goes away. Let's just delete that. You can just do, what is it called? Huh. Well, basically, it's up to you now what you want to do. I mean, you can choose to do some random kind of effects. You can do a simple fade. Uh, what else is there? You could twitch it out. Let's just twitch it out. Let's enable everything. You know, twitch the gun out. Let's find where it twitches. Right there. First second, we'll just make the speed up higher so it does it more often. Now we can just control shift D and delete that layer. So, if we ran preview out that little bit, let's see. Ram preview this out really quickly. You can see it kind of twitches away. And I mean, that's not the best, but nice, well, you get the general gist of it where you mask it out with the pen tool and then you can do whatever you want to it. And that's pretty much it. And I'm sorry if these tutorials are kind of stuck in these last two because I'm feeling awful today, but I'm trying to get some of these tutorials done that I gotta catch up on. So, anything else you wanna see, request it. Thanks for watching, guys. And peace.